Ladies and gentlemen, black helicopters have been spotted. Your podcast with your wife is one of my favorite podcasts. It's so fucking consistently silly. That, it is very you're, silly. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. And people get silly when they get on it. They do, yeah. And then, you know, I start, like, seeing things like, oh, this is like a, your mom's house bit. I need to send it to Tom. Yeah, yeah, you like, sent me a couple <laughs> good ones. I can't tell a story about taking a shit. <laughs> Without 90 people hitting me up the next day telling me that was the most brilliant story in the world, we're going to send it to Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I tell a shit story. I know, story, I'm the shit comic. It's awesome. I fart myself or <laughs> something disgusting. And two days later, sure enough, I'm you play in the fucking YouTube video. <laughs> That's true. And howling yes, with we, your wife. I'm true. howling. I'm like, We've played fucking. Joey telling shit stories for sure. And he told us about when he shit uh, in his backyard and somebody thought it was a bear had come. <laughs> I never forget the lady. She would <laughs> leave. She would let her dogs out every day at five, <laughs> and then she would clean up. They were all French poodles. Yeah, yeah. So they're I like can little see the dogs. It was asses high up in the air, yeah. were just reeling back from the shit. Like shit. what the fuck? She it's went a mountain like this. Of shit. Joe Rogan. She looked at it, and she was like fifty-eight. So she squinted at the <sighs> shit up against the wall. But here's what's beautiful. Oh. I took a shit and I put my back against the wall. So when I shit, when you shit outside, it's not going to be a decent shit. Yeah. It's going to be like explosive. Like uh. So when I got up, it looks like somebody got shot in the head. There was shit all behind me on the wall. So she sitting there with her little French poodles and her little chihuahuas. And she's looking at the wall like, what the fuck happened there? And all of a sudden, she actually walks up close to it and squints and looks down on it and looks around and runs in the house. I'm watching all this. I can't breathe. Oh. And now I go to the computer, because my wife's very decent, and uh. I'm sitting there for a half hour. <laughs> and then my wife comes in, and she goes, were you home all day today? I go, yeah, why? She goes, I just had a conversation with Susan. <laughs> 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 she wanted to know if you heard anything in the backyard, because oh, some yeah. animal took a ship back there. <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went to get sushi. <laughs> Like, you ever go get sushi and eat a lot of it? And <laughs> yeah. The rice pushes everything out yes, of your ass. Yes, yes, And you had plans to go get a weed store. You want to go to the post office. <laughs> but I made a detour. I planned to go home, but I left the house key in the house. So I had to climb around the window. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. So when I pulled myself up, I actually landed with my stomach on the window. And now you really Which got made it push yeah. it out more. Like I'm like, <laughs> and I'm fatter than fuck, and my hands are struggling in the window, and my little <laughs> fat feet are on the other yeah. side, and the cats are meowing at me, scratching at me, right? And I'm like, it's me, you fuck. And I, <laughs> so I ran out, ran down the stairs, and <sighs> shit outside. It's oh, like shit in the house. <laughs> oh my god. The best was the night I took a shit in Fabian's backyard after a five hour drive from Colton or some weird town. Didn't he not talk to you after that for a yeah, while? Yeah, for a while. I took a shit and then he ran over it with his car and the whole backyard smelled like sewage waste. I go over to the next day. He goes, it smells back here. Let's talk in the house. He goes, I don't know what happened. And you can see the brown shit. He smushed it with this tire and a bunch of flies were around. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't talk to me for a month after that. Who takes the uh, shit in somebody's backyard? Don't how did you find go. out it was uh, you? Because I told him the truth. <laughs> I, I felt bad. I, what, am I going to lie to the guy? <laughs> oh, that's hard to clean up, too. Wow. Yeah, shit. You can clean up dog shit. It doesn't even make you gag. But human but shit? bum shit? Yeah. If you had to clean up some wino shit, if you had to use one of those scrapers? Yeah. Oh. It smells so much stronger, man. <laughs> it's more gross. It's so much no, no, more no. gross. No, no, no. When you take a shit, it's okay. <laughs> it's till you cut it in half. You right. You cut a shit in half? <laughs> no. When that fucking... I think I'm when that milk, when that, when that Reese's peanut butter fume leaks out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my uh, God. He's like, I've done studies. <laughs> no, no, no. When you go to jail. External. When you go to jail, you it's cut shit in half. When you go to prison... You have to cut the shit? You have to shit, like, in a tube while uh. people are watching TV. Like, when you go to county jail, you shit right there. So black guys will be laying there watching TV with their feet up, and all of a sudden they smell a little shit, and they're like, put some water in that hole, motherfucker. <laughs> like, they'll just yell it from the other side uh. of the fucking prison. Pussy, uh. because that means you, you took a shit and you're sitting there, <laughs> and right. the shit's permeating. Uh. So in prison, as soon as you shit, you got to put water on it. Yeah. But there's some bathrooms that only give you 20 ounces of water a day. So whatever time you flush, it's got to be a good flush. You follow me? I so if you take a you. piss, sometimes the piss has to stay there until the next day until you take a good, good shit. But when you take a shit in jail, bro, that's what they'll tell you. Put some water. Put some hole in that motherfucking hole, dog. 
I could smell that shit right now. I'm trying to watch Oprah. <laughs> mm. But that's what smells. Once the yeah. hole sucks, it, it's like when you go to Vegas. Yeah. They have that sucking action. Yeah. Well, if you take a <laughs> shit this big, that's 34 inches. Once that sucking thing, <laughs> it breaks. It looks like two new chucks. Once that breaks, it's over. It's over. And yeah. they put the bathroom right by the door, the front entrance. So yeah. You can't have nobody come over. Right, right. That's why I always go downstairs. To take we, shit? Yeah, I don't shit in my bathroom in the hotel no more because it kills the whole room for two hours. We worked at the House of Blues in Vegas, and uh, yeah. Joey left uh, an onshore shit. You know what an onshore shit is? What? It's like he he was so fat at the time that he couldn't sit down in like the regular toilet. You what? were like, what were you 400, like? Four hundred, four fifteen. He was Fuck. giant. Yeah. He was giant. So when he would take a shit, he would had have to balance himself mostly on the very edge of the front because his ass was so big. Wow. He didn't shit in the water. Wow. He shit on the deck. No. Oh, so dude. It would be sticking Fuck. out. So you like oh, sticking out. Whales. You ain't never seen a shit like that before. So you couldn't sit in the toilet. I would sit on the toilet, but I don't like my no, no, the He was on the edge. It wasn't that I was fat. I don't like my dick inside the toilet. Right. <laughs> Somebody's going to suck your dick and all of a sudden they're sucking the toilet. I tell my wife, <laughs> I don't even let my wife pee in public because I want to eat her monkey. I don't want that oh, monkey touching yeah. the other fucking oh, thing. Oh, so geez. when I shit in the public bathroom, I hold my balls. Okay. And I shit towards the edge. I don't give a fuck. It's somebody else's bathroom. Right. So you're, you're, you're scooting Why not just forward? hold your balls and sit where you are? Because, right. No, 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 no. Why do no, you got to move forward? Because if I'm back there... I got crabs one time, and if they're sitting on the toilet, they'll jump from that toilet inward like they're jumping over a monk. I always thought that people you, saying they got crabs in the toilet is an excuse. Well, sometimes you could get crabs from anywhere, but, but why take But I thought you can only chance? get it from hair. They only clean the hairs. I don't think they like will stay on an actual toilet. I think they're you're like, probably definitely right. Yeah, I would feel like that's one of those things like, how'd but, you get crabs? I took a shit at yeah. the gas station. That had to be it. That's what I always figured it was. No, so I always hold my nuts and shit. <laughs> when I shit, it was long, and Red Band put ketchup on it. Uh, Remember, uh, Red Band went in there and uh, put ketchup on the potato un chips? Unfortunately, I think that was a different time. Okay. This has not happened this is just a different once. shit, yeah. It's been many, many times. So this thing's just like sticking out of so the water? So you go in there, there's a smell. You know how you, when you take an epic shit, it's an above water shit, it comes yeah. out like... Like the fucking big island of Hawaii, yeah, just rises through the water. Yeah, like I've done that many times. Where because I eat too much, yeah, and, uh, and I'll take these shits that are just like so big, they're preposterous, but there's a totally different smell to those shits because you're smelling raw shit outside of the water. Right. I mean, it's 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 gone through the water. Yeah. And it's poking into. It's, it's strong. What is it about that that makes you happy? <laughs> What is it about it's that a sense of accomplishment, smell? You're first like, of all. oh, there's a good one right here. It doesn't come around that often either. No, like that's above what water shit. Yeah, man, it's like a comet. Like and you're just like, I don't. This doesn't happen all the time. It's always diarrhea too. It's never like it's never like a super like thick log. It's weird when the second wave is diarrhea. Like when you take like oh, a night, right. you're like, oh, like good logs. shit, and you're proud of yourself. Yeah, and then you're like, I think I got a little more in there, and it's like, Rah! and it's just a fucking. You know what that's from? What healthy eating? Healthy eating does yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. If you eat some NCT oil or yeah. some coconut oil, why or does some it do shit, that to you? Lubes up your pipes. Oh, <coughs> it's yeah, like, because where I moved to now, I have the office, the back office, and it's connected to a bathroom. It's got a door. So I don't live with stink no more. I open the door in the morning. I <laughs> live with stink. I got a backyard. <laughs> I shit. I smoke the bowl. You don't while I'm shit shitting. in the backyard anymore. No, no, no. But okay. my door goes faces to the backyard. No, oh. I have my own bathroom in the bedroom, and then one in the That's kitchen. That's nice. Oh, yeah. But I got one. Yeah, of the don't put a woman through one now. of your shits. No, Jesus. I got my it's own not shower back there. Yeah, leave her alone. I open the back door. <laughs> Fuck the fart fan. <laughs> right. I just open the back door. There's a school behind there. Kids playing. I'm shitting, smoking dope. I don't give a Frenchman's fuck, and it don't smell in there no more. I light a candle. That's beautiful. Beautiful. That's what you need is a bathroom with a door that faces outside. The worst is when you go over a girl's house, and you go to use her bathroom, and you smell matches. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. no, she was lighting this motherfucker up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it just makes you think. That's all you're thinking She's about. She's, like, burning off fumes. Her stinky methane. butthole, yeah. <laughs> Just stinky butt. She's I hate panicking about her meth. You ever get feeling. to a girl's place and then you feel the gurgles and you're like, Ooh, I've got not a rip good. one. Yeah. Not good. Not good. I've had that before. I was dating a girl once and she had ferocious diarrhea. Ferocious. Ooh. So she was All in, the, regularly yeah. or just no, like no, no, one, no, one time. Yeah. And she so she went to the bathroom and she just turned on the shower and she turns on both things on the sink. 
Whoa, yeah. And just she, she, try like, to drown it just out. Had, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I was very young at the time. Yeah. I didn't understand. <laughs> I was super confused. What the fuck is going on in there? <laughs> I had, I had once in in college where I was at this girl's place and she was just like, "Hey, it's game on. Like, go for it." Right. And I was like, I have to take. And I could feel that it was a diarrhea shit, <laughs> like an explosive diarrhea shit. And I also realized there was no way to do it. That that it would just be a black toilet uh. when I was done, <laughs> and that there's no way I could cover it. So you know what I. Did? Did. What? I went back to my place. I was like, I'll, uh, I'll see you some other time or whatever. Right. And the next day, her friends were like, "You're like the fucking like." They gave me credit, like that they they so thought I was guy? that I was a good guy. They're like, "You're awesome." And I was wow. like, "No, I had to take yeah, a girl." Crazy you know why girls shit. do that? Because they're not getting fucked and they don't want their friend to get fucked. Right. And so they use reverse psychology yeah. on you. You're an amazing guy. I got an amazing guy you, credit. I hope you wait forever. That's so cool that you left. Not even when you get married. Tell her when you get married. We love her so much. You tell you want to have sex after you're married. Never. Because it's not about that. Right. It's about real love. Yeah. Like well, twilight love. If, if I had had bowels that were intact, it would have been a different story that night. But bowels? Bowels. Oh, bowels. bowels. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a time when you know that it's... And the sensitivity of your inner asshole region oh, is man. amazing. It is. It knows. Yeah, especially when you go to seep out a fart. Right when you're like you're like about to cut a fart and, and then also an alarm start going off and you're like oh no oh yeah oh no and you got a clamp shut you're like oh Jesus what is this we were having this debate yesterday about why are they sometimes hot like why is it hot and then why does why do you know that hot's gonna smell bad spicy food bro is it but is that what it is solely I would imagine mm. I don't know I, I remember I was telling you guys that one time my freshman year I didn't take a shit for a week and a half. I used to. I was addicted to steak and American cheese, <laughs> and a ride of French fries. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait Listen a minute. to me. How long is that? This ten is days. That's ten a long time, man. A, when I was How a were you freshman, alive? I played freshman ball, and we were playing Patterson East Side. That's wait. just a jungle of a school. Like you got to be careful when you go in there. <laughs> and uh, we went there to play the Christmas tournament. Wait, what kind of ball are we talking right now? Basketball. Oh, basketball. And I hadn't taken a shit for like 10 days. I was backed <laughs> up something. I took acid, something fucked my stomach up. I didn't tell nobody. In those days, I was really scared of doctors, and I wouldn't say shit to nobody. <coughs> and on the way home, we got on the bus. And while we were waiting there, my stomach started hurting. And I said, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm going to shit myself or fart, but let me just take a chance. Mm, good move. And, and I blew this fart, Joe Rogan. That was so bad, <laughs> right? We were on a bus and people started running, you know the school buses? People started running to the windows, right? To swing down the bus windows. But here's where it gets better. I fought it again. And the teachers were going, oh my God, he's changing flavors. But the worst, <laughs> but the wor flavors. But the worst thing was, uh. the cheerleaders were crying. That's how bad it smelled. <laughs> they were sitting in front of the bus going, <laughs> Wait a minute, he's changing flavors. One of the teachers yelled out, uh, oh my God, he's changing flavors. <laughs> that's how bad these farts were. That's, that's uh, your next t-shirt. Oh whole, my God, he's changing flavors. The whole bus stunk. <laughs> so I'll never forget looking at the chili. And they were like, oh my God, we've never smelled like this before. It was fucking God awful. I wrote a blog about one of Joey's farts once. <laughs> was that on a plane? Yes. yes. I think I read that. It's called Happy Pills. And it was, I was thinking about, I was, I was looking at this ad. <laughs> Here, take this. I was looking at this ad for antidepressants. Oh my god! You know some girl dancing around a field of wheat and shit. You know those those ads. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, yeah, good. I was just thinking about like like what you know what depresses people and how crazy pills are and how crazy. Oh, it's still up there. You can still find it. Oh. Anyway, at the end of this, this is a really thick. Like me, we're both both of us are barbecued. I don't know what the fuck. What do we eat? Edibles? Some sort of edibles? It was in the beginning. Lollipops. Yeah. It was way in the beginning. Of we were crucified. And we were, we Rogan were... was asleep. Yeah. He was going in and out, but he wrote on the blog, and I don't even have to look at it. To remember, <laughs> that the fart was strong. He's lucky I farted because it was a lot better than the Antonio Banderas movie he was watching. Something to do with an Antonio Banderas movie. Now. I don't remember what it was. I don't was. remember what it was. But I do remember the lady behind you. I will never forget hearing her over the earphones. Yeah. I hear, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> his, his, 
there it is. Over the pounding sound in my iPod, I hear a woman in the row behind us cry out. Oh my God. I look over at Joey and he smiles. There's your fucking happy pill right there. That's and you're right, Antonio Banderas, it says right Told there. You. Oh, what was it? Some my bad iPod is movie. Uh, oh yeah. Teaching underprivileged youth how to salsa. Oh, yeah. that's what I was watching. I was watching a terrible movie. Terrible. We both were. And Joey farted the fart of all farts. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you remember, Where by the way? you off the seat. You ever have those farts on the plane <laughs> where you actually feel your leg? It's like you're in one of those chairs. When, when, when you're in a plane and it's going to mm. go down, what's the button you push to throw oh, you the off the plane? the ejector seat? That's oh, what yeah. it was. It, like, injected me a little bit. <laughs> he like, digs his seatbelt into your waist. Oh, my God. It was terrible. <laughs> But another time I fought, I used to take the, I used to take the number one bus from Jersey City to oh. North Bergen to the high school. And we were on the bus one morning, kids, and there was a guy reading a paper. I could live to be 100 and never forget this. Reading the Daily News, and he had a connector of drool from his lift to the Daily News, and there was a puddle. He Whoa. was on heroin. They would go to Jersey City those days and get methadone. So they would take the bus up north with us. So I'm sitting there. He's passed the fuck out. And the drool is connected to the Daily News. And there's got to be just six inches of puddle. This guy's been passed out for 20 minutes. <clears throat> I point my ass at him. I'm, I'm, a, we're not, I'm not sitting behind him. I'm sitting across from him. Yeah. And I lift up my hips a little bit. And I kept my asshole just pointed at him. <laughs> that even if it wasn't pointed at him, he would ricochet off the chair and go straight into his mouth. Like one of those <laughs> He's sitting there, and I let a fart go out. I, was, I could live to be 80. He lifted, he lifted his eyes like this first, right? Like he went like this first, like, and he wiped his mouth. And he's like, man, who the fuck farted? <laughs> 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 He goes, it smelled like someone went up somebody's ass and died. And oh. me and my little buddies were like, what, the seventh oh, grade? Yeah, yeah. We're fucking giggling our oh. asses up. He's like, I should beat the fuck out of whoever fought it on this motherfucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. 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 oh, man. This is when, this is why I hate people. Oh, this dude. is why I hate when I read posts. Yeah, give me a second. This is why I hate. This is the reason why I hate when I read posts from people going, "Are you sick and tired of blue comedy? Well, come down to the Stanford Theater on Friday night and listen to intelligent comedy. Com thought they call it thought provoking comedy. And then I think about how many times I'm 54 years old. And at night, I got a sleep apnea machine on. And there's a little needle in the sleep apnea machine because the hose punches air into your fucking mouth. So there's an escape valve that's the size of a needle. Do you know how many nights I will sit there and be half asleep and I'll need to fart? And I'll wake up just to fart to see if I could smell the fucking fart come through that hole. Do you? Yes. I, if it comes through the hole, <laughs> it's a tremendous fart. I just wake up my wife. Like, I go, honey, you got to inhale it. Like, it's that good. I'm 54 years old. That always makes me laugh, Tom Segura. <laughs>